So the Olympics are coming. Yes. That's pretty cool. Super excited. It's great for Southeast Queensland. Oh, yeah. Brisbane 2032, the mm. Olympics. And uh, it seems like a long way off. Oh, it's a short time off, eh? But it's really yeah. not that far. Like I always, hey, for a long, long time in my life, I've always looked at my life in spans of decades. What can mm. I achieve in the decade? Yeah. And so when there's a big event comes to your local area, and, and I think we, you, you had a 10 year uh, notice period that it's going to go on, yeah. it, it, I get super excited because Fun. I go straight to opportunity. What is the opportunity there? And um, for any event, whether it's a big sporting event, whether it's um, football World Cups, if it's World Series, if it's Olympics, Commonwealth Games, whatever it is, there's going to be infrastructure built. Yeah. There's going to be more um, needs, uh, desires, not just in that little micron Narrow. Of, of, of when that event's on. For that, that two week, weeks. One or two or three yeah. or four. World Rugby World Cup, I know, tends to go on for about seven weeks. But, you know, there's all the lead up to that. Yeah. Is there stadiums got to be built? Is there roads? In this instance with the Olympics, there's going to be rail stations. Now, mm. what is the effect that has on property? What is the effect that has on accommodation that's required, demand for that? Mm -hmm. Now, there's people, there's broadcasting, there's all of these things that come in and need spots for much, much longer than just those few weeks. For literally for years prior, Yep. And then the consequence of when they leave, all those facilities are there, so they're going to be used. So it's a, it's a massively long-term yep. journey. And as you say, uh, we should be starting to plan now. Yeah, so no, um, uh, all of these events, not just do they need the, the basic things of how to get this, so road upgrades, rails, as we mm -hmm. mentioned, but it's also when they get here, they're all going to need accommodation, Feeding. Gym, gym facilities, yes. where are they training? Yep. Um, you know, they'll, they'll need access to, um, you know, per perhaps uniforms, um, mm -hmm. they'll ac need access to medical support, uh, there'll be doctors, physio, like yes of course a lot of them bring their own, some don't, mind, mind you, yep. um, but also they need to be able to leverage off a local network of those people, yep. right? And then if you're a business that's in this area, how can you leverage off those sometimes very famous people that will be in our locality during that time. Yep. What can you leverage off? Who could you try and make some kind of five, 10, 15 minute, like I'm thinking, who is it that we could podcast with that would oh. be interesting? Your business, who could you perhaps get a photo shoot with, even just a couple of photos that you could yes. use, you know, just to try and, you know, or an interview with, to try and leverage off that. Now, most of us don't often get that opportunity. The fact no. that they, you know, when an event comes to your town and you have got some um, some great personalities that are right on your doorstep, perfect opportunity to really leverage it. Mm. Uh, I met a lady not long ago and she's joined the Navigate community. You might remember her, she makes medals. Right. And she launched her business from the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, right. And she was the provider of the medals to, uh, you know, to the Games. And that was her first customer. And you know, how many years that is later, but she has now developed some very strong relationships with larger organisations because she's been able to say, we were the provider of the medals. We designed them, we produced them. Well, it becomes a point And it was an Australian company. Yeah, it becomes a point Amazing. of reference. Amazing. And when you know that you've got a big event coming and you're years out, you've got the opportunity to start to really? build these, this, this, these points of reference, this database of successes Mm. And, and reference points that you've done over yep. the years. So when it comes, it's like, hey, I'm the best person, or we're the best company to be able to do this for you Indeed. because we've done this, this, and this. So mm. it's, it, it seems like a long way off. I think 10, year, 10 11 years is a perfect I amount of like time mm. to really maximise the opportunity. No matter what sector you're in, there's opportunities. It, it doesn't matter what you do or the size mm. that you are, there's going to be a ripple effect. These people, um, the sports people are coming, but all their entourage is coming, but also all the people who want to watch the sport. You know, they're going to be here for a while. They'll probably stay for a little bit longer because Australia's a long way to come. So there's this r massive ripple effect of everything. And absolutely, people mm. come out training beforehand yep. to try and get used to, oh, what's the Climate. environment like? We yes. want to look this. So in the years leading up, people will come and have a look. Now, if you're in another state saying, oh, well, that's great for them, doesn't mean anything for me. Wrong. Oh, wrong. Right, so the, you've got the opportunity, you know, maybe you've been thinking about opening a location outside mm -hmm. of your current state. Yep. 
And so, you know, this could be the catalyst to be able to do that. Perhaps you've been thinking about moving over the last few years. This could be the catalyst. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all of those things that you can leverage off. Maybe you see an opportunity in, in the market in, in the location where the event is where no one's really servicing what you do and you can either uh, enter the market physically or virtually through the internet and make sure that you're building your contacts in that market where you know there's going to be demand and it's not filled currently. And collaboration. Mm. Who, if you're not here in this area, who's here that um, you might collaborate with? It could be a competitor, weirdly. Mm. That's a great collaboration cool. arrangement. We've just spoken or about acquisition. that. Or acquisition. Yeah. So don't, don't limit yourself because you're not physically in the area that the games are going to be. Find out who's here, who's the players, who are the people who you could collaborate with if moving or new location is not an option for you. Collaboration could be the answer. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Or, you know, franchises we've spoken about Indeed. many times yep. before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, those kinds of arrangements. But, you know, certainly uh, acquisition opportunity could be, that, you know, if you're looking to get your second location or your fifth or your ninth location, mm -hmm. you know, this is the opportunity to do it when maybe the, the price is not factored into the sell price of the business right now. So this is where I go to as opportunity is, is hey, maybe I can get a discount on the property uh, or the business right now and maximise that in seven, eight, nine, ten years. We are with, yes, yeah. exit out yep. one or two years out before the Olympic starts, where the, that premium is built in. It's happening, the business yeah. Time. And you know, just think a bit about this as well. We know the Olympics are coming. How many business opportunities do you are you forewarned ten years prior? Mm. You know, what an amazing opportunity to really sit down and think about how can I leverage my business. Yeah. because of this event. Look, business um, owners, you should always be supporting a big event coming into your you know, general location. Yeah. It should always mean something extra to your business. Mm -hmm. It should all, you know, particularly if, uh, if you're homeowners, if you're property if investors, you know, always bring something extra. You know, we've got so yeah. many data points in recent years in, uh, in countries all around the world where it makes mm -hmm. a, a massive uh, boost to yeah. the economy, mm -hmm. to the businesses, um, to property, to everything. Yep. every facet of it mm. so you've got the opportunity you can sit there and go oh this what a pain that's going to be or it means nothing to me or you can get in and work out how you can maximize that opportunity uh, so you know get to it thanks for watching the video now next steps for you is to check out our workshops and boot camps so that we can work with you one-on-one -on -one and get your business growing so check out the workshops boot camps on the navigate biz website and don't forget to find us on social and like and subscribe there's no